Yeah, um, I mean, listen, one at a time, right? I, I mean, honestly, there, there's always there's always another challenge, right? And um, every time we step on the field, we, we understand we, we're going to have to earn it. You know, we got to go out and earn the victory, and we have to earn, you know, th that amount of points, right? Um, and, and within the framework of understanding what is winning football, right? When you take care of the football, um, when you convert third downs, when you maximize your opportunities in the red zone, I mean, those are all, that is winning football, right? Control the ball, control time of possession. So if, you, if we just continue to, you know, create the sense of urgency each and every week on making sure that we accomplish those things, then good things will happen. Yeah, um, listen, obviously this was a huge, huge night for him. Um, you know, I think especially early on, it became evident that, you know, Philly was really wanting to take away Michael Thomas um, to the point where it was just two guys on him running around the field everywhere. Um, and same with Alvin for the most part. So that was opportunities for some of these other guys to, to get, get touches, get matchups. And listen, they, they, all, they all made the most of it. Um, you know, Traquan, uh, Kirkwood, Austin Carr, um, our tight ends. Um, I feel like everybody came up with some big, big plays, big catches in the game today. Well, I'm not going to, I don't want to compare. I, you know, listen, we, we had some great runs during that time too. Um, but, um, you know, right, right now with the amount of weapons and just our ability to, I think, run the ball really effectively with our two backs, um, get them the ball in space in the passing game as well, um, in addition to the guy, all the guys that we have to throw to at the tight end wide receiver position. Um, you know, uh, obviously that feels good, but again, it all starts, it all starts up front, you know, and, and, and that, and that group up front is, is playing so well together, you know, regardless of who's in the lineup, you know, listen, Jermon Bushrod can't step in and, and did a tremendous job at left tackle today. Um, and then throughout the second half, really, we were interchanging guards, you know, quite a bit. So, um, all those guys really stepped up and, and played well. Listen, if we just focus on the efficiency of each and every drive, right? Right. If, if, if we're putting points on the board each drive, um, then those, those things add up, right? And it gives us a great chance to win. It gives our defense a ton of confidence when they walk on the field. You know, it's complimentary football. Um, yeah, it's a lot of points, but um, I, we have a high standard for ourselves, right? And, and, this, and this offense and this team and what we can accomplish. And, and so I don't, I'm not really looking at these end numbers. You know, I'm just looking at each drive each series kind of one at a time and uh, could have been could have been better there you know could have thrown a better ball there could have gotten to a better play there could have you know so if each one of us just takes that approach of um, continuing to improve coming to work with a great sense of urgency to improve then you have days like this and <laughs> you know you're, you're still you're still not satisfied because you know you could have done a little bit better but obviously the end result is good Because we, we focus on the little things that I've been talking about, right? Um, our, our execution, the tempo at which we play, you know, in and out of the huddle, up and down, um, you know, playing fast, making good decisions, um, positive plays, good things happen. Yeah, well, a lot because he, he knows that the opportunities can come his way. You know, every, every game is different as far as how a defense is going to choose to play us, right? And so, um, you very quickly, I think, find out where are the matchups, right? Where are the matchups, and, and, and those are the ones we're going to need to exploit, and those are the guys that are going to need to make plays, and, and he did a great job today. Individually, at, at this point, your season obviously matches up with some of your best guys that have been in the You feel that this is a football you've already played in, so why is this taking a bigger come back that way? Uh, I, I feel really good right now. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I love my team. I love coming to work every day. Uh, with these guys, um, you know, I want to I want to play my heart out for these guys. You know, I care about them, and uh, certainly don't want to let them down. Want to be as consistent as I can for them. Um, give them confidence, put them in positions to succeed. I mean, that's my job. 
So I'm just doing my job. Steve Kirkley said the fact that he's been here all season, you know, as long as he's on the roster for two weeks, kind of led to you guys having some confidence to be here. Yeah, I got a ton of confidence in him, and he's only going to get more and more opportunities. Um, I love his progress here since uh, going back to OTAs. You know, I think each and every uh, practice throughout the preseason and then, and then even into the season, um, while he was on practice squad, it was, I mean, you saw, um, uh, you saw, you know, flashes, and, and and I think just a level of consistency too. He's he's a really smart guy. He he can play every position. Um, I, I I I could see just the way that he was preparing each and every week, even though he wasn't in the lineup. Um, he would study every position, you know, and and I think that's that's a unique quality uh, for a guy to be able to step in and do that. And then, you know, with his size and his his speed and his traits, um, I think just the more time on task we have together. Man, the better and better he's going to become, the more confident he'll become, and, and the more that we'll be able to work him into our, our offense. Could you talk about the significance of playing Mike Manish in the OTB on a, on a nice Thursday versus Ray Holiday and everyone was going to be watching football? Yeah. How, how cool is that just as a player to be involved in something like that? It's, uh, it, listen, it's awesome. I, I, I immediately think back to my childhood. Right, and it was every Thanksgiving we'd we'd have the big big Thanksgiving meal, family, friends, and then it was it was football in the yard. My my brother and I would put our sweats on. You know, it was usually pretty chilly. We'd 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 put our our sweats on, and we'd put our favorite jersey on, whoever it was at the time. Um, I was a big Texas A&M Aggie fan, so it was, it was usually an Aggie player, and we would. I was two two and a half years older than my brother, so I would play on my knees, and he would run around, and it was just my excuse to 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 beat my brother up. But now, th just those yard, those yard football games um, every Thursday, every Thanksgiving, um, and then Christmas time as well. So there's something special about the holiday seasons and football. Um, and I think it's when families and friends gather together to, to watch the game. Is there anyone more dangerous than Alvin on a, on a dual route? <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's – listen, he's, um, he's a special talent. You know, he can do a lot of things for us, and, and obviously we try to – we try to put him in positions to, you know, um, to take advantage of that, you know, that that athleticism and, and and just you know matchups. And for the most part today, you know, I think they were they were bound and determined to try to take him away, but that opened up opportunities for others. Drew, how much how much do you feel like bringing in Brandon Marshall this week and giving him a different play? That can have a residual effect for guys like Trey Kwan and Keith. Yeah. Yeah, no, listen, absolutely. And it's funny because I was talking to him in the locker room after the game, and Brandon was like, you know, I, I was used to them doing that to me. You know, he's, he's talking about getting doubled, right? And then it opened up opportunities for everybody else. He's like, maybe maybe this is a good setup, you know, where all of a sudden I'll get some I'll get some one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, with uh, with so much attention on Mike. But, um, you know, I think we we try to spread the message that, you know, it's, it's anybody's game, you know, in, in that locker room. Uh, when we get out on the field, we don't know who's going to have the matchup, right? But once we find it, you know, we're going to try to exploit it. And um, if a team is bound and determined to take certain guys away, then we've got answers, right? We got answers. We got guys who can win, and um, that's what good football teams do. Drew, I know we've talked about this long before, but how would you describe today and how you all are playing here right now? With the well, listen, it's fun. Our, I mean, our fans, our fans are awesome. The greatest fans in in all of pro sports. Um, and, and just the just the electric atmosphere, you know, especially the start of the game and as we're rolling, I mean, there's nothing like it. So we try to give them something to cheer about, you know, on both sides of the ball or all three phases. And, you know, when we're rolling like this, obviously they are instrumental in, you know, our success and, and just making this a, a true dome field advantage and making this a nightmare for teams coming and play.